Hello Cancer and welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your reading for November 2022. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, of course. Angels, show me the messages for Cancer, please. All right, we'll take those. On the bottom of the deck, we have sorrow over a loss. <laughs> this card keeps coming out for everyone, but okay, let's move on. A loss can be anything. It does not have to be a person. It can be just a loss of money. It could be a loss of food. It could be a loss of a vehicle. So, all right. Flowers, happiness. See, so the loss brings in some happiness. That's what seems to be happening for everyone. All right. Let's see. What do you got? Horseshoe. Good luck. June. June could be significant. Oh, June is, uh, is that your month? Wait, no, July is your month. The end of June. Maybe we have some cancers that are born in the end of June. Ink pot. Problems to be resolved. All right. Yoke. Feeling tied down or frustrated. Okay. Coins. Money will be coming to you. That's always a good thing. And pig, beware of greed. A lot of times this card comes up for me when someone is trying to hold on to you. I kind of feel that with the feeling tied down or frustrated. Like someone won't let you go, won't let you move on. Maybe that's the problem that needs to be resolved. But all right. Let's keep that there. Let's get you a wisdom oracle message as an overall energy. That sometimes doesn't always resonate with the reading, but go the din distance, go the dinner, I was going to say. <laughs> Maybe somebody's eating dinner while they're watching this, but anyway. Um, this is about doing whatever it takes to get to the finish line. You will get there even though you're not there yet. Just keep hanging in there and the thing that you want will happen. All right. Your overall energy to be fair in reverse. So this is like the justice card. Uh -uh. So I feel like you feel something is unfair. And I feel like it has to do with, so far anyway, someone holding on or not letting you move forward, or maybe you can't move forward. Okay. Balance, justice, a need to consider options, mutual benefit, the law of cause and effect. And we're going to read the protection message because it came out in the reverse. It is number 38, if that is significant to anyone. Maybe it's an age. All right. Injustice and inequity are part of your life, but they do not have to define your experience. This is a time when you may observe an injustice righted and fairly redressed. How about that? Perhaps you come to the rescue of someone else or are called to answer for a personal slight. You will be amazed by the sense of power that surges through you when you stand up for yourself and others. This card also indicates a good time to advocate for others who are less fortunate. Choose your cause and commit to it because you can make a difference. One thing is for certain. Fair, if fairness is your intention, the situation will be resolved for the highest good of all concern through acts of kindness, empathy, and courage. So it did say that you had a problem to be resolved here. All right. So as long as you are doing something for the right reason, justice will be served. Okay. Let's get some tarot out and let's see what is going on for cancer. Should I take all of those? Okay. 
The Six of Wands reversed in the center of the reading, Leo energy, that could be not getting the attention or recognition that you deserve from a situation. Ace of Pentacles in the challenge position, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, new beginning, an opportunity. This could also be not being able to move forward because it's a man on a horse for me. I just wanted to point that out. Okay. Base of the reading, the chariot. Coming to the rescue. Didn't it say coming to the rescue in that? Um, anyway, the chariot, that is your card, Cancer. Sometimes this card, it, only in certain decks, but in this one specifically, these horses are pulling in two different directions. So I feel like you may be being pulled into two different directions. I don't know how all this hair gets up here. <laughs> all right. Um, but the, this is a victory card. This is going in a new direction. It is overcoming obstacles, challenges, problems to be resolved, because this is the sorrow over whatever your loss was. The Three of Swords in the past. So Libra energy. There could have been some hurtful words here. Could have been something to do with a third party. Could have been just disappointment or a rainy day. All right. Uh, um, you're over... Uh, uh, on your mind is the page of wands so that is aries leo sagittarius energy this is exciting news this boy is yelling he's telling everyone he's standing on the mountaintops and getting the word out um uh, an important message of excitement passion the wheel of fortune reversed in the forward position, a very difficult change or something is not divine timing. Hmm. So it's based on you going somewhere and you're telling everyone that you want to go somewhere, but the universe seems like it's saying no, not yet. Or someone else is resisting this change, someone in your environment. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so that could, that's Virgo energy. That may have something to do with codependency. It may have something to do with not having enough finances, not being confident in your decision about something. Two of Swords, Libra energy again, in the roller attitude of the other person. So this is a very difficult choice. I always tell everybody, this is choosing between the mother and the father. It's like, I, I don't want to make this decision. This is something that you don't want to do. But it is in the role or attitude of others or outside influences. Uh, moon in, yeah, moon in Libra. Um, strength card in the hopes or fears position. So that is about strength and courage and something infinity symbol we got all right something that is long term four of cups in reverse position cancer energy i like that i'm not sad anymore i'm not bored anymore i'm interested in something i want to hear somebody out or i want to look at this offer three of pentacles reversed so this could be work for some of you Broken contract or not getting along with someone at work. The seven of pentacles, you're waiting. Yeah, I do get this feeling that like you want to go somewhere. You're interested in something. You could have a codependent person around you. You can't leave someone because they depend upon you. All right. Let me, um, let's clarify a couple of these and see what we get from them. Let's start off with this Three of Swords. What is happening here? Broken heart that something is over. A chapter has ended. There's graduation. Now, keep in mind that this is energy. This could be another person. Hmm. All right, what's the chariot? Where are you going? A sideways card always goes into the upright on this channel. Okay, I'm just pointing that out before I do it. 
judgment. It's in the upright anyway. A big decision to go somewhere. A big decision. I feel like I'm getting two directions, two directions. A big decision. You could have a decision to, you might be standing at some type of crossroads here and you don't know which way to go because I'm getting, you know, you're, you can't move forward. This is like a big decision to move forward. Judgment or a phone call to go somewhere, a uh, message that you received from another person. Which the opportunity is in your challenge position. I'm going to put it in the upright again, guys, okay? The Hierophant. Something to do with beliefs, marriage, commitment, school, an organization, a big company or corporation. Hmm. All right. Let me see what I like to do for the Two of Swords. I hope you can see that. We're going to pull something for each side of the sword. Angels, please show me one side of the sword. What's on one side of the sword? The King of Pentacles. What's on the other side of the sword? The Queen of Cups. Man, are you really seriously choosing between your mother and your father? <laughs> That's interesting. Two people. You're choosing between two people. Knight of Swords came out as well and the sun. Wow. Somebody could literally be choosing one side or the other of their parents. The Queen of Cups does represent my mother card. She's in reverse. This could be, uh, I don't know if I feel like this is you. Happy to go somewhere and get out of the cold. Who else did had this? Somebody else had the same exact combination. Leaving the cold to go to the warm. Are some of you trying to move? And somebody, one person wants to take action and the other person is like against it? You could have Abandoning a situation. Just go with something. There's definitely movement and travel here. Great distance could be, with the world card, it could be a great distance. Somebody may be far away from you. This could be a long distance relationship. Maybe you met a new person. You have a new opportunity here. But you're already in a relationship with someone who lives at a distance. And now you have to choose between the two. Because you definitely seem like you're interested in talking to someone a little bit more. What's the opportunity? Show me the opportunity, please. Could be a job as well. Always. King of Pentacles could represent money. An increase. Show me Cancer, please. Look at, yeah, you're interested in this opportunity. Some type of opportunity has seemed to have popped up like out of nowhere. You're talking, look, yeah, yeah. You're talking to someone, you're coming out of hermit mode and you're ready to tell someone that something is over. Somebody is sad here. Ace of Cups reversed, Queen of Cups reversed. I feel like somebody doesn't want you to walk away or somebody, somebody may be crying, asking you not to leave. All right, I like to keep it moving, guys. So let's see if we can get some more information. Sometimes I can get some energy from the Kipper. A false person. Okay. See, that's helpful. Show me cancer, please. Show me cancer. Message of concern. And one more. You could have parents. I feel like, uh, I don't know if this has something to do with somebody's parents. Let me see. Show me cancer. 
so Leo, if you are a Cancer rising, Leo would be on your second house of money. A message of concern that there is a thief in the community. It's like somebody's not telling the truth or this message. Something about a community. I keep getting this for a lot of people. The communities. Changing communities. Are you changing uh, social media platforms? Whatever this is, you feel, I feel like you're choosing between two people. I feel like you're stuck in the middle. I feel like they're both holding on to you in some way, shape, or form. I feel like one of them is not genuine, though. It's almost like with that six of wands, not getting the attention, not getting the recognition. I, this is, so this is what I'm getting from this. Someone may have not cheated you properly. You didn't get along, didn't work well together. They didn't want to compromise, whatever the case may be. They didn't give you the attention that you deserved. There's something here with this combination. So you went and said, it's over. You had the conversation, this is over. You're telling everyone that you're going to another commitment, another contract, another company, another organization, whatever the case may be. And now all of a sudden this person is crying and upset and they don't want you to leave. But if they would have treated you differently over here, you probably never would have even considered making this move. So now it's like you're waiting. Maybe you had to give a two week notice or maybe they're asking you if you're leaving a job and they are dependent upon you to do a certain thing. Maybe they're asking you to stay longer and train someone, school, learning. I feel like there's some big announcement here with this judgment and this uh, page of wands. Someone's making some type of announcement, forcing you into some type of decision. Courtship could mean a person, a new person that you have met or a new person that you're talking to. Possibly you could even be like, let's say that your parents are split up and you live, you know, in the state of Indiana with your mom. And now your dad says, hey, come out here and work with me. I have a really successful business and you might be leaving and now your mom's upset and she doesn't want you to go. Like that's the kind of thing that I'm getting. It doesn't, that's, it's not that specific. It could be anybody in your life, but I do feel like someone is holding you back. Someone's trying to steal your opportunity almost by crying or saying that they're upset or let's get some more information show me more information for cancer please show me cancer did that flip no Show me cancer energy. Nothing here. We might pull a couple of situations cards. I could dig a little bit deeper into this because I'm not really sure. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. You may be getting married. You may literally be telling someone I'm getting married, I'm moving forward, I'm moving in with someone, um, we're engaged, and then your mother or your father or whatever the situation is doesn't like this person and they're telling you not to do it. But you're very interested in the opportunity. The Ace of Pentacles can even represent an engagement ring to me. Show me more for cancer, please. Regardless of what it is, somebody's trying to not let you do something. Okay. 
self-indulgence, focus on self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. They want you to indulge in yourself. They want you to reach way down in your gut, Cancer, because you are very good with your gut. Look at, see, receiving what you need, progression arriving, moving on, closure issues. Somebody has closure issues. Somebody doesn't want this to happen. And you need to s indulge in yourself, basically. What is going to be the best choice for you? I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting. Want to date. Hmm. There could also be someone who just went through a divorce and some type of painful ending over here. They broke up with someone and this person is trying to interfere in the relationship. You're trying to move forward with the relationship and they just keep butting in. They're trying to steal this person from you by sending messages. Could be. There's a lot of scenarios. There's so many scenarios in tarot. I could sit here and do this for hours. <laughs> I am going to pull you some advice. As long as your intentions are good, everything will be fair. I feel like with the go the distance card on the bottom of the deck, I feel like you should follow through with something. Look what's under that fork in the road. Yeah, you're trying to figure out what to do. I feel like you should follow through on something. If that helps anyone in any way who's trying to make a decision. Show me the advice for cancer, please even though somebody else appears to be a problem here. And you either getting what you want or doing what you want. All right, give me one more. We'll take one more card of advice. Oh the gosh, that's the two of wands. You really have some type of big decision here. Okay, that, and let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We'll read that first. Five of Swords. The path you were on seemed like the right one, but now you've run into a challenge. There is a better direction for you that will make you much happier in the end. Changes are necessary so you can get back on track. Avoid negative people who are draining or who bring unwanted drama into your life. Now that Queen of Cups in reverse can signify drama to me. It, I do call her drama queen. She can represent some jealousy. She can represent someone who's crying. It's a possibility. So just keep that in mind. Uh, six of Pentacles. Heaven opens its loving arms and pours abundance onto you. An unexpected gift is on the way. It's like something just dropped out of the sky here. Like suddenly, like all of a sudden you got this opportunity and you're like, oh my gosh, I, I don't know what to do. Um, accept it with gratitude and humility, knowing that you will have a chance to return the generosity by giving to others in the future. Consider volunteering for a charitable organization. Now, that To Be Fair card also said something about doing something kind for others, and I also get that with the Hierophant. So I'm not sure if that resonates with anyone. There could be something to do with charity here. Uh, two of Wands. Trust in your ability to make excellent choices. There's opportunity all around you if you just continue to move forward. It may be time to take an, a new partner who can help you be a success in your career or creative endeavors. Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. So you could be choosing between two people here. Two people that you want to move forward with. You might even be like a boss or a supervisor or something like that. And you, you might be hiring someone. And you might be choosing between a man and a woman. And I feel like you like them both. <laughs> All right, Cancer, I'm going to leave that there. I do hope that I was able to courthouse is under there. Could be some uh, important documents to sign or legal paperwork. I am going to leave that there. I do hope that this message helped someone today. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation and I will see you soon.